Just grab we'll fire everything up once it's all tightened down. Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. Hey, you mind helping me weld up some of these panels? Uh, nice coming up here. You should visit Glad more often. Ugh. Sore. One too many squats. You color the wrong wires. Station showing red. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. I won't leave you hanging, Vladimir. Kor and I can stay with you until the eye is back to 100%. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand-to-hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left a life of a jackab once behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sarah with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way. So make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there. Talk. Keep your
yourself out of trouble. Or we'll have every hired gun in the cargo bay after you. something I need to talk to you about. I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. Yes, I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter. Don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. That's what disturbs me. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts. But what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? They're certainly hostile, but I don't think they're here to completely annihilate us, or they would have done so already. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. <sighs> Obviously. But there has to be more to these beings than simply originating from another world. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old. Perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. Thank you. I really appreciate your support right now. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. I knew I could count on your support. Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. There's something I need to talk to you about. Thanks for taking the time to talk. 
I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Raw energy? I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. I'll let you on board. But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Yeah? What kind of salvage work you do? Ship? Ground battlefield? Or do you just sculpt the back alleys picking through trash? I hate running through a dead ship. Like sifting through a damn tomb. Not to mention the constant threat of explosive decompression. Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> You're all right, scavenger. Go on ahead. Strewn about all over. The good stuff's locked up in a vault for Petrov's own personal viewing pleasure. And before you ask... Petrov's the only one with the keys, so don't try bribing any of the crew. You just waste your money. Fine. Just ignore me then. Captain Petrov sure loves his damn speeches. Welcome to Petrov's Palace of Peculiarities, the pinnacle of perfect procurement, the penultimate panopticon of prosperity. That doesn't belong to you, right?
You know, people say he's mad, but I like Petra. That's a good show. Gentlemen, we have a newcomer. Place your bets. I'll go with buying. A hundred credits as they leave with one of the captain's glorious golden statues. You know those are colored aluminum, right? I say selling, but nothing the captain wants. You win, Bull? Yeah, yeah. Count me in. I say selling. A cargo hold of all the oil paintings. All fakes. Mmm, bold. I like it. Oh no! Looks like we all lose. Including you, newcomer. The captain's obsessed with that damn rack. Got into the vault and everything. You know, I hear that vault got made on the cheap. Quiet! Quiet! No spilling the captain's secrets. At least not for free. Oh, we would never do that. We love our captain. We love his money. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Hand over the credits then. Let's talk. I hear the back end of the vault butts up against the old conveyor belt system. Crucess's walls were just meant as partitions. They're thin, held up by a few old security bolts. A laser could just cut right through them. Not that you would being a respectful guest of this ship and all. You meet Vardik yet? The captain's right here. I've never seen a man so first. Ah! I wasn't he aware we had the visitors. Vardik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. We have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. And let you pick my vault clean? No thanks. Now, now, no need to be insulting. Hmm. Oh, ho you do have a point. Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? You I know. know. People look at me and say, me, Petrov, we would your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, Thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is paid. But that is the price of security, huh? Que sera? Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a Demos Celestial class while it was exploding. 
The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally Got steered us did. into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing. Devoid of any such enlightenment. Why, yes, he did. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off! I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. We're not taking anything, unless you make things unreasonable for us. I'm afraid not. I'm easy in all things, except my collection. Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love for my collection and my crew of hired cutthroats is enough to stop you. Go ahead. Make a move for the artifact. Let's see what happens. You've done an admirable job of trying to keep your cool, but I'm afraid the captain isn't going to listen to reason. Steal what is mine, and I will ensure that every security officer in the United Colonies knows you're nothing but a common pirate. We give you our word. Done! Stand down, everyone. Let the nice pirate pass. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore.
So what? We're just gonna let you loot the ship? I just know it. Captain Petrov says stand down. So we're standing down. <sighs> Wonder how much Petrov will need to pay to recover from all this. You're lucky the captain's a coward. We'll let you on board. But... Fine. Just ignore me then. So, where to next? Everything looks good at my station. Business with the turmoil. It's good to get back to small crimes and petty thieves. Ah, oh, Captain. It's good to see you again, under much calmer circumstances. You wouldn't be here about the job, would you? Might not be worth your time, considering your rank. Part time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available, no pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave, Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? All right, Captain. Just keep in mind, this isn't going to involve your usual level of excitement. No mind-altering terror morphs and explosions in the spaceport. Just simple, good old-fashioned police work. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need 
You see security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. See you later. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starboard came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left, said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Vladimir's right. We need to fortify our position before that starborn storms in. We move out once the artifacts are ready for transport. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. I understand if you want to go, but I need you here. Please, I... I don't know what's going to happen once that Starborn shows up. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. Everyone, find a place to take cover. Where? Do you really expect them to barge through the front door? Just don't stand out. Are you heading to the eye? We'll need to barricade the door behind you. Won't be able to get back in. You do the same. 